chime. Best way to describe it. Like a bell rang. Okay. You hear it once. You're like, okay, maybe somebody's, you know. You guys are my, off to the side of the yeah. road a little bit, so. Yeah, yeah my, my first thought is to reach back and grab the metallic object in my bag just to make sure that's not the thing ringing. As soon as you grab it, you hear, you know, it doesn't make a, a chiming noise, but you hear it again. This time coming from the opposite direction. Okay, yeah, so that can't be it. Um, I guess I stand up. I have my dagger, like, weakly ready. Yeah, you start, like, yep. But start moving towards the time slightly. You s Slowly, but... Yeah. Roll me a perception disadvantaged due to the fact you're still in the pseudo wake up mode. Yeah. Pseudo sleep. Oh. Drowsy. <laughs> you see a small bright light off in the distance. <laughs> yeah. Can I see what color? Oranges? Maybe yellow? You're like, okay. Really need to get a little more sleep before I discern this color. <laughs> That's like, well, if it if it is what I think it is, we're not too far away from the town. It's probably some torches. So I'll go back to my camp. Okay. Is so, that colorblind sleep? Colorblind sleep, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, when you are trying to get your rest in, because I've done it before, it's not fun. <laughs> you you go into like this mind dead state where you're aware that there's things going on, but you're. <laughs> Yeah. Not totally there. It's I do that a lot with YouTube. Unfortunately, IRL, I deal with that a lot. So yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. It's not a fun state. Nope. Um, but yeah, so after after doing that for another 10 minutes, 20 minutes, it you, you think it's been about an hour since you heard the chiming. I think. <laughs> you think. And then you hear a um, kind of like two swords clashing, that clanging, <clears throat> ringing sound, coming from the same direction. Are they continuing to slash? Do I hear them over, the, over and over again? Or after you, like, okay, something's going on. You, you start to wake up a little bit. Okay. They're spaced out. More spaced out than a normal sword fight should be. Oh god. I think there's a slaughter going on. But you definitely are hearing metal on metal colliding. About how far away do I think they are? You think it's probably that bright light back there that you're not totally sure what it was. Mm -hmm. But you kind of just brush it off as torches. That is the direction it's coming from. So... I don't know if you would connect the dots, or you would just assume it, but... Let's just say I assume, because I'm tired. <laughs> well, you know. Now, do you go investigate it again, or are you just going to see if it gets closer? I'm going to go wake up in there. Okay. Like, just like, just like start shaking him in his sleep, like, wake up. No, we can't. <laughs> um, there's like this weird light and and like weird spaced out clashing. It sounds like a sword fight, but not a sword fight because like, and I'm just rambling on because I'm yeah. tired. <laughs> <laughs> You're sleep droning talking this. Yeah. yeah like, oh, no. There's lights and sounds and I don't know what's going on. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> That's, that I, sums it up. Yeah. I did that a little too well. Yeah. I, mean, I may fair. or may not have practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like, like. Can you help me, me invest? Me, me invest again? Oh my god! I'm <laughs> what are you doing now? Hey, <laughs> that is called totally. role playing. Right? Yeah, totally, totally role playing. <laughs> yes, I help, help you go investigate okay. the okay. sounds. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Yinro, my weird rogue friend. <laughs> Uh -huh. Such a All weird right. rogue friendship. 
<laughs> yeah, we don't really know each other still. So. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird. It's a weird friendship. It's okay. It's how D and D works. Okay. Yeah, you know, you know, let the rest of sleep. Hopefully, as best you can. Hopefully, mm -hmm. the horse uh, announces any unwanted visitors for us. Probably not. <laughs> I mean, I hope. But uh, yeah. Well, how close did you leave the carriage versus the campsite? I mean, it'd be right next to it. Okay, cool then. Like you figure, maybe the horse would. be Winnie or something if it gets shot. Yeah. Well, like, like my idea is, like, the, the horse is, like, nearby. The carriage is, like, parallel to the fire. Yeah. And, like, the horse is, like, curled up, facing away from the fire so that it can sleep. Yeah, it's something like that. So, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. That'd be my idea, yeah. anyway. Like Hopefully, if, if <laughs> your plan works, it works. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Okay. So, you guys head that way. I found this hand to your team eyeball. Okay, you guys head that way, and what you thought was a random color is legit a fire. So, <laughs> partially right on You're my own. Partially right. Now, roll me a perception check on it. Either one don't matter. Because you both are there. <clears throat> what was that last time? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you got a 19. I'm like, where was that last time? <laughs> <laughs> you noticed it was a... Uh, it was another camp. Yeah, as my it's eyes start to widen a bit more, yeah. like, ugh. And... All that's there is the fire and a few tents. You don't see anyone moving around it. And about this time, you figure someone, if it was an adventuring party and or... Somebody can't be out. They would have said somebody to watch. You don't see anybody at the distance you guys are at. That looks completely deserted. There is a slight metallic-y smell, copperish smell in the air. Okay. How far away are we? Like several hundred feet, at least. Roughly, yeah. I'm at close enough that you guys can hear stuff, but not close enough that you guys can see them right away. Can I hear any more of the metallic thing? You don't hear any of it. It is oh, dead yeah. silent. Move closer? You move closer, <laughs> and the oh, smell yeah. gets stronger. And you recognize the scent now being rogues and regularly smelling this, you smell fresh blood. As you guys have snuck into places, robbed some places, skewered plenty of people in your time, <laughs> you instantly recognize the smell. Okay. Do you get closer or no? Yes. I... <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, do you think you can handle this place on your own? If not, I'll holler. <laughs> you better you scream holler. as you better scream as loud as you can. I I okay. run, I run back up towards uh, Larissa. Okay. So when you get back to Larissa, the horse is gone. Shit. As far as you can see, Larissa's still where you left her. But the cart you got, roll me a perception as you get closer. Yeah, the cart has been ransacked. All your stuff you guys had in your bags and all that fun stuff that you guys left at the camp just to go investigate this are gone. Larissa's still there. Now Larissa's items. All her equipment that she was not currently sleeping with are gone. Because Larissa is passed out due to the fact that recently got shot with a bolt. Yeah. I, and slept through it. Yeah, I'm looking for footsteps to uh, to see where they may have gone. Okay, we'll get back to that. Or, or how many there are. Yes. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. So one second. Yep. Back at Yenro. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> Upon going to this camp, you see it was a family. And the family has been slaughtered. You assume while the father was on shift of watching over them as they were sleeping. Just by your general looking over the camp. Okay. Now roll me a perception check. Okay. Yep, I'll come back to that one sec. I heard growling. Uh oh. Yep. Uh, what's, what's happened back here? <laughs> They're doing the dirty. <laughs> do, do, oh, do, back there. Cool. Do, 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 a little, do a little role play while he's <laughs> it's like I'm just like I'm just like brushing Larissa's hair aside and yeah. like, I'm gonna get your shit back, okay? <laughs> as lightly as I can so you don't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> They're upstairs, I'm not climbing stairs. Okay. Oh Ashlyn, I can't hear Ashlyn. I just kind of groaned and moved to my side, like, uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, with your perception check, Yin Ro, you see that there are at least five different sets of tracks <laughs> around the whole camp. All right. Of various sizes, so you think that. Roll me another perception check. Are you actually investigation? Sorry. Oh, investigation. Yeah, because you're gonna start. You're gonna investigate the place, right? Yep. As you're investigating, you're, you're opening the tents and you're looking all over. You you in one of the tents, you find a mother and her three children, bloody, beaten, stabbed. Now, upon looking at the father, who has been dragged to the other tent, you see that he has been tortured. Missing fingernails, teeth, sliced, the whole kit and caboodle. All right. Now, Good thing they didn't have car batteries, otherwise he would have been electrocuted. <laughs> you can tell that they use all methods to get the information they needed out of these people. Okay. Whatever information they were looking for, you have no idea. Now, you do see three sets of tracks heading away from the camp. Are you going to follow them? I'm going to <laughs> inform the other others about it first. So you're going to head back to camp? Yes. Okay. So as you get back to camp, you see Akita shuffling around, trying to find you don't know what, but... <laughs> shuffling around, moving stuff. At least you think it's stuff. Oh, jeez. Alright. Akita, you gonna yeah. relay what you seen? Or what you didn't see, I should say? What I didn't see. <laughs> Ugh. They took all of our shit. Who? I don't know yet. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out. Oh, well... What did you see? Death. <laughs> Lots of death. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, I figured that. <laughs> not wrong and there. Tracks leading away that we need to follow. And you didn't follow them? No. I wanted to invite you guys to join me on this journey of following steps. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Where's, let me see if I can see footprints. All right, roll perception. Fuck. You see your <laughs> footprints. You're leaving plenty of footprints, and you guys have walked around this campsite, you know, setting it up, eating, getting I, the carriage where it was. I meant bandit footprints. I know what you meant. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> what you've seen. Okay. <laughs> you do not see it. I mean, there's been foot traffic here before. I mean, you guys are near town, so. 
But <laughs> as for like identifying the the, the, the bandits' footprints, not really. Okay. Yen Yenro, lead me to the footprints back in the campsite. Okay. We need to follow them. I'm sure they're the ones that did this. Okay. Okay. So you guys double back. He points out the footprints. You guys follow it. And it's kind of weird. Because there's a set of three. But right when they get to the forest line, they split off. Oh, shit. Great. One heads towards the direction of your camp. Mm -hmm. One heads straight. And the other one heads the other direction. I'm going to follow the ones leading towards camp and just follow them, see where they lead. I know they're going to go back to camp, but hopefully now that I see them, I yeah. know which ones I'm looking for. They head. So as, as you get closer to your camp, following those tracks, yeah. roll me another perception check. Okay. You notice that as they get closer, three more appear. Okay. So now you're like, there's four people. Okay. And they go straight to the camp. And so you, you continue, now you know what footprints to look for. You notice that they were very careful to evade Larissa. For reasons you don't know, they just went around your camp, you got all the stuff that they, they wanted, that you can tell, and left. Okay. Which is odd for bandits. That is odd. No, normally they would take everything. Yeah. Oh, hi! Welcome to the stream. New Hello. person. It went up to nine. Okay, I guess. I um, Before I make a decision, I kind of want to hear what uh, Yenro does. Yenro, were you following? Yes, I, I was following. I was following. Okay, Yenro's following. <laughs> At this point, it, it's better to stick together. <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay. Do I do I see these footprints that I now recognize, like going away in a certain direction? They went to the same exact path where they came. You can tell that they're very careful not to make extra footprints. Ah, uh, they. Wait. How come we didn't run into them then? Can I? Can I? Can I uh, go back and see where they may have uh, split off again, where we didn't notice? Yeah. Go ahead. Perception. Fuck. <laughs> oh, it's really weird because all of a sudden there's four of them. <laughs> it's like all of a sudden there's four tracks instead of the one. Shit. No, you're not stupid, and you're like, okay, well, I know they doubled back. So you know one of these four extra tracks got to lead to where you want to go. Hmm. You know? Any ideas? I say we gather up what we can and just follow the tracks and wake up the other person as well. Has she gotten six at least six hours of sleep at this point? At this point, I'd say, yeah. Okay. I mean, it happened per, about two hours into your, your, you know, your watch. And since you guys split it up in thirds, you know, half-half, it's been a total of about six hours now. Okay. The time it would take you guys to follow the tracks, to do what's going on, yes, it's been six. Okay, so I go wake up um, Larissa. Like, kind of like shake her awake gently, but uh, urgently. Yeah. And, and I start picking up any of the stuff that's out of the bags, if there's any bags, and putting them back in. Bags. There is nothing. They took no the bags. bed rolls. Okay. They took both the strange armor that you guys have been carrying, the case and everything. The mace that you guys had from last time. Wouldn't I have had that on me? Would you have? Yeah. 
I mean, I you... wouldn't sleep with that weapons on me. <laughs> Most people do. I mean, I mean, I'm a weird rogue, so. Okay. <laughs> well, you would have grabbed some of your supplies to, you know, go out and follow. I mean, yeah. no one's going to go adventuring out into, you know, like this without re-putting on some stuff. I, I figured you had your armor on and. Yep. And I definitely would have grabbed all the weapons that I had and my uh, arrows and my bolts. Okay. So you just grabbed the weapons and the arrows. Well, bolts. Arrows and bolts. Oh, yeah, I forgot you have your light crossbow now. <laughs> oh, I've just... I forgot that you picked that. Yeah, I knew he grabbed it. I just thought he would have chose the weapon he's been using. You know, less less conspicuous. Okay. Larissa. Larissa, I need we need your help. Huh? What? Um BRB. Alright. BRB. I'm just gonna follow wherever. Okay, cool. Um, so we had some bandits or something come in and ransack everything. I see that. Yeah. And they took all your stuff. Except for my bow and my arrows, because I keep those on me. Where exactly were they when you were sleeping? <clears throat> uh, well, the bow stays attached. And it's like hung across the body, like the oh, okay. is. You, it's oh, it's a long bow. That's right. And then it's and easy. then the arrows are like on a on like a strap that goes across too. So you like brought the strap up in front of you with like the quiver and the arrows there. Oh, okay. Yeah, that. Okay. Okay, well, your swords are gone. Okay. Yeah, we, we need your help to track these people. Like, I, I'm doing my best, but you're like, you're the expert at this. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, you take Larissa back to where this the track split off in the four. Yep. Roll me a... What type of... What, what favorite landscape are you? Forest, I believe. Uh, yep, forest. Okay, so what bonus do you get? Plus two or something like that, or is it advantage? Um, oh shit, don't know. I don't remember. You can, you can link it. Yeah, if you click it, if you fill it out, you can just click it. Oh, okay, did not fill it out. Yeah, okay. it doesn't fill it out. <laughs> Must have been something she added. Yeah. Well, it's no, I, no, I didn't. It. I didn't add it. It just kind of came. Oh, out it just it. Did, oh, it just didn't fill out. Okay, that's weird. All right, give me one second. I'll look up. I'll look it up for you. Because I have the app right here, and it's already pulled up. It's gotta go to Ranger. I'm doing to Ranger. You know, I should know this playing a Ranger before. Probably. Oh. oh. The. The, this stuff is not usually came up. Okay, so your your proficiency thing is doubled in these. Okay. While tracking creatures, blah, blah, blah cool. All right. So roll me a perception and double the proficiency. So what? So plus two. So whatever you roll, plus two. Nine. So nine. Yeah, they, they split up now. Due to the fact that you're used to seeing tracks in the woods, you notice that two sets of them are doubled up. I see. What do we do, Larissa? Say we follow the ones that are doubled. That was now, my thought. Now the ones that are doubled up are ones going straight, and the other one is arcing towards the direction where you know the other camp is at, but you're not sure if they doubled up all the way back to the other camp or what. Hmm. Um. Let's. I say let's try to see if they went back to the other camp. Completely. 
I don't think that's a good idea. They would have to, they would have to carry, if they stole all of our stuff, plus the stuff at the other camp, they would need multiple people to carry it. Yeah, true. Then let's go straight. Okay, so as you're heading straight, it goes on for, I'd say, another 60, 70 feet from right where you guys see it. Now, the ranger leading the charge due to the fact that the ranger knows the woods and is really good here. Notice that the tracks get lighter as they proceed going in. So Roman, um, another perception check. Plus two. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Way to roll the same score twice. <laughs> <laughs> it is still just head like I said, still heading in the 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 one direction, but the tracks are getting lighter. And as you're proceeding another I'll say another 300, 400 feet from where you guys initially seen it, the tracks now are almost invisible. Like somehow they're lightening their walking. Huh. Interesting. How in the world? Roll me another perception check. Hey. There, there we go. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> As you notice, do the fact you know the woods and you, you're used to being in the forest. You notice that on top of the, uh, right along the top of the tree branches and right where the tracks are, you notice that. There are scorings on the lower branches that you can visibly see. And now the tracks are completely gone. So you deduce that I'm at scoring on the tree branches. You figure they're using some type of grappling or something to make it to where they're not touching the ground no more. So roll me a nature check to see if you can follow the distance between the two. <laughs> After the third, I, I'd say about the second or third branch, you lost him. <laughs> um, can I, can I athletics check to get onto the tree to see what's going on? Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I have a plus four in that shit. All right, good night. Have a good one. Blitz is going to bed. Good night. Good night. Thanks for joining us. So after your awesome tree climbing skills that you learned from the squirrel, <laughs> aka Larissa tried to teach you and you were zoned out watching Larissa climb a tree. <laughs> also, I'm tired. And also you're exhausted. You're like, okay, I got this. And you jump up. You're like, I can grab it. And you grab the branch that is directly above you, that is near the ground, thinking that you just jumped up all the way up. You're like, ugh. This ground is really, this, I'm really high up. I can see I'm kind of tired. <laughs> As you look down, your feet are still on the ground. <laughs> all right. Can I, can I round two this? Because, like, so yeah, like, you can like, round two it. Like, like, okay. I didn't really do that much. I feel like I can do it again. All right, here we go. Try again. Seven. Wake up. Wake up. Slap the face. Yeah, wake up. Yeah! Well, are you trying to do it Dexy, or are you just trying to jump up? Dexy? What do you mean? Well, you, you're right. You're acrobatic seeing it, which is like the frilly. You jump up and you like do some twirls, or you're just jumping like pole vaulting like stuff. Because oh. that's an actual difference between athletics, that's more strength based, and acrobatics is more like putting flair on. Oh, really? Okay, my bad. I, didn't understand. <laughs> I, I just now noticed it was acrobatics. That's why I was like, wait. Oh. This again? Yeah, I, yeah, I had said acrobatics at the beginning. So, again, so yeah. So athletics is strength. Acrobatics is dexterity. dexterity. That's why I was. 
Oh, I see. I see. Okay, yeah. So no, I guess I'm just Okay, so up. yeah. So you grab this one, and you're like, okay, I gotta redeem myself. And you pull yourself up and you do that really cool like tumble thing you see them do on those poles. <laughs> you fling yourself up and you land right next to Laura. So you're like, okay, I redeemed myself. Did anyone see that? <laughs> anyone. I, I was looking backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Larissa. <laughs> okay, did I notice the grappling system or whatever? You've noticed that right where you.